The Captain Captain Paw Blitz. 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 Movie C for the Flix. Movie C for the Flix. Movie C for the Flix. The Captain Talks Flix. Welcome to the Captain Talks Flix Podcast. I'm your host, the Captain Cortez, aka Mr. Love, and this is where we talk flicks. I welcome the podcast, the podcast where me, the Captain, talks about movies, TV, sports, flicks, anything you see on tube or screen. I like to get in here and give my unique perspective. Because after 45 years of being on planet Earth, I've developed a unique perspective on these movies, TV, sports, and flicks to guarantee about it. Because just maybe, just maybe you care. In accord to the stats, looks like you do care. I want to give a big shout out to Belgium. Got some players over in Belgium this past week. Gracias, gratitude, total reba. And Belgium, I heard about that Atomonium, Atomonium over there. Atomonium, I think so. Atomonium over there. It's like this nice uh, structure, building, landmark. Looks like a big atom, actually. It's this big, huge atom. It's huge, right? It looks dope. I would love to just go over there, chill, chill hang out there. It just looks so awesome. So, Belgium, you know, once this pandemic's over, I may have to make a trip over there, visit that Atomonium, have some chocolate, enjoy life, meet some fly ladies over there, just chill, relax, max. So, gracias, gracias for this podcast. Just FYI, back day with School Bay Radio DJ. But I never got a job. And I think what it was is I never went to Belgium. If I would have went to Belgium, maybe that experience of another culture would have opened my mind and freed my mind and allowed me to expand and become a world-renowned radio DJ. But unfortunately, I didn't. But that allowed me to become the greatest podcaster in the Matrix. Subject to debate. Might be true, might not be true. But I said it on the internet, so it's got to be true, right? Because everything on the internet is... Facts. Not facts. True, not true? I don't know. I'm no expert. I'm just a guy that does podcasts. Maybe it's true, maybe it's not true. Ask your mom, ask your dad. Ask someone important. Don't ask me. <laughs> but, you know, whatever, it doesn't matter. Just be aware, just be mindful. Watch out. And I can ramble here all day, but I won't. So let's get into the podcast. But first, a word from our sponsor. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm recording this on the 22nd of December. That means Christmas is three days away. Did you procrastinate? Did you wait to get presents? Did you did you wait? Did you wait? Did you still not got your presents yet? Eh, you know, you just you just waiting because you want to get the or you just thought about it a lot because you really care. You care so much you waited, and I respect that. I like that. It's very nice here. So you can go to your local store. You go buy some cool stuff at the local store because I'm sure they have some cool stuff at local stores. My local stores have cool stuff. But you know what they don't got over there? They don't got a whole lot of music. These days, stores don't carry music like they used to. A lot of stores ain't carrying CDs. Hey, we don't carry CDs no more. If they got CDs, they got a few CDs. Well, guess what? Your boy, the captain, has music. The captain has a band camp page. And the captain knows some people with some band camp pages. So I'm going to put some links below to some band camp pages where you can go get some music, share, download, give gifts of music. Because tell you what, some days you don't want to watch TV. Some days you don't want to watch YouTube. Some days you just want to sit down, hear some beats and rhymes and rhymes and music or whatever, right? So I will put the link to below these band camp pages so you can experience music, get the gift of music. Yeah, do that. Merry Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. Now let's get on the podcast. Ladies and gentlemen, here I am again. Again, once again, I'm back. And I just had a uh, nice big cup, mug, mug, in the Captain Talks Flicks podcast mug. I have a Captain Talks Flicks podcast mug. It's right there. And in that mug, there's hot Ethiopian coffee brewed in that French press I told you guys about. Remember I told you about the French press? Yeah, French press brewed 
Ethiopian coffee. And let me say it real quick before I get into the podcast what we're talking about today. That Ethiopian coffee is phenomenal. I heard that Ethiopia is the birthplace of coffee. That's what I heard. May or not, may not be true. I read it on the internet. <laughs> I read it on the internet, so it might not be true. <laughs> but according to the internet, Ethiopia is the birthplace of coffee. But I'm sure there's a lot of people out there who would probably disagree. With like, no, it wasn't made there. It was made in China. No, it was made in the United States. No, it was made in India. No, Hawaii made it. No, we Canada. Canada made the first. We even had coffee first. So, whatever. I'm sure every country in the world thinks they had coffee first, right? Somebody's saying that. But according to the internet, Ethiopia had was the birthplace of coffee. Like I said, may or may not be true. Regardless of who had the first coffee, let me say this. Ethiopia coffee is fantastic. I strongly recommend that you check it out. Get a chance. Get some Ethiopian coffee. You'll love it. I guarantee you'll love it. The captain says you love it. You will love it. Somebody's had that. And then also, Ethiopian coffee brewing. I said, today's Wednesday, the 22nd. I was like, huh? What is, was there anything going on today? It's the 22nd. It's Wednesday. December, huh? Nothing? Nah, I just play some video games. Now nah, work out some music. So, I mean, nothing's happening today, right? Nothing is happening on the 22nd of uh, December 2021, right? Nothing. Nothing's going down. Nothing exciting. Huh? What? What'd you say? Oh, the Matrix Resurrections comes out today. Is that is that true? No, that can't be right. Nah, they didn't, they're not making another Matrix. No, what are you talking about? Nah, they they told that story. They're not making another one. That's a lie. I write that in there. That's not true. <laughs> the internet's lying all the time. <laughs> but ladies and gentlemen, I fired up my Matrix. It went onto my Matrix. And there it was, right there, over at HBO Max, HBO Max, right there, HBO Max, five in the morning. There it was, The Matrix Resurrections. Unbelievable. 22nd December, 2021. There was The Matrix Resurrections. Right there. It was like, bro, there's The Matrix Resurrections. We know what you should do. Shoot the play button. Play. Boom. Hit it. It went on for that magnificent ride of The Matrix Resurrections. Didn't know what to expect. Wasn't sure what to expect. Didn't know what to expect. And let me say this. It was madness. <laughs> and I don't mean it in a derogatory way. I mean it in the most freeing, gratifying way you could ever say it. This is, this is, these are words of love and, and admiration. It was craziness, madness. It was everywhere. It was all over the place. It was messing with my brain and my mind. And I loved every moment of it. Because this is what I want to happen with cinema. I wanted to make my mind fire and wire and neurons firing, thinking, going all over the place. Like, what's happening? It's too much. It's chaos. It's everything. It's all these things are happening. Levels and layers and levels and layers and levels and layers and levels and layers. This is what's happening. And just not anyone can handle that. Your favorite movie reviewer might say they don't like it. It's very possible. Your favorite movie reviewer say, I don't know, that's craziness. It doesn't make sense. Of course it doesn't. Because there's layers and layers and layers and levels and layers and levels of levels and layers. It's going deep. You thought the first one was deep. You thought the first one was going deep. Yeah, in 99, the first one went deep. But 99 was a different time. Simpler time. Way simpler. In 99, that was deep in 99, right? But in 2021, different, different, different thing is needed. Different, different art is needed. Different way of presentation is needed. This society is very, very complex. In order to reflect on that complex society, you need complex art, right? And the Matrix Resurrections brings that to the table. Layers and layers and levels and levels and layers. Reflections and mirrors and meta. All types of see, seeing yourself in the tube like crazy. Now, I see myself in the tube all the time. I have a strong feeling if you watch The Matrix Resurrections, a lot of human beings are going to see themselves. A lot of be- human beings are going to see commentary on what they're doing. And a lot of human beings are not going to like it. <laughs> they're not. I'm just saying, they're not. They're telling you, bro, this is happening. This is you. And someone's going to look at it and be like, man, this is me. And they're going to be like, oh my gosh, this is me. I can't can't take it. My head's going to explode. It's too much. 
Yeah, it was it, the the ride was fantastic. Now, the 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 philosophical deepness in this particular film is just levels and levels and levels of layers. I just keep saying that over again. Levels and levels and levels and layers and layers and levels and levels and layers. Because that is exactly what's happening. Right? I, I saw it for one I saw it once. Saw it already one time. And I'm glad I watched it home instead of the theater. I'm gonna go to the theater this week or later next week. Don't want to see it the first time in the house. So I can catch the dialogue. And um as I'm watching it, there's so much to unpack there that one view is not gonna be enough. Right? It's just just one was not enough. There's so much being said, so much happening, so much going on. One is not enough. In fact, this this is gonna be part one. I'm gonna I might go part two, part I don't know how many parts I'm gonna go. I'm gonna keep I'm gonna watch the movie a few more times. And there'll probably be multiple parts. This is part one. Just one this is part this is my initial reaction. Because there's levels and levels and levels and layers and layers and levels going on here. And multiple parts are necessary. So yeah, so uh after seeing it. My mind wasn't blown like it was in uh, 99. Because I'm aware now. I'm aware. I'm okay. I'm woke now. We'll just say it. I hate using the term woke. But yeah, I'm kind of awake. I mean, if you've heard these podcasts, you've listened to them. Can I be like, bro? Yeah, you're probably kind of awake a little bit, right? I read a lot of books. I don't watch TV as much as I used to. I spend a lot of time in meditation. I spend a lot of time in solitude. Yeah, my mind's kind of been unplugged for quite some time, right? That being said, this 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 uh, unpluggedness in my brain, still watching this movie, even with the unpluggedness and more wokeness in my brain, is that I'm very, I'm pretty sure that the Wachowski, I'm not sure which Wachowski made it, I can't remember which one, I apologize, but whichever Wachowski made this, created, made this, I know they both did do it, they're levels upon levels upon levels more awake than I am, I'm very sure of that, they're the one that produced the Matrix in the first place that woke me up back in the day, right? They are, they are levels and levels and levels of layers above me, right? So it's it's like it's like so I'm gonna I'm gonna use this analogy. I read Chog Yang Trumpa, the Buddhist monk, back in '99, back in the '90s. Read the book, read multi couple, I think like two books in one book. Did not understand what was going on in the book. Couldn't even wrap my mind around it. Fast forward later on, years later, read Chog Yang Trumpa again. Then it resonated, right? Just like the first Matrix. Watch it. Didn't fully grasp it. The trilogy, the other two, not so much. Watch it later in life. Made a little more sense. Now, watch the Matrix Resurrections. And as woke and as, 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 as aware as I am, didn't get it all. Now, it's only the first viewing. So, then after multiple viewings, it may sink in a little bit more. The first viewing didn't fully grasp everything about the movie. Multiple viewings need to happen. But um, I think it's designed in that fashion. And like I said, your favorite reviewer might talk about it poorly. Because there's too many levels. There's too many layers. Movies are not being made with levels and levels of layers and layers and levels and levels of layers like they used to. They used to. But not so much now. Now it's not, not so much now that, that levels and levels and layers and layers and levels are not quite there like they used to be. So when these guys that are raised on films, shows, they're just not, well, it's TV shows, the TV show a little bit, but movies. There's not a lot of levels, 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 layers to. You see them like, oh, it's not very good. I don't like it. Because they just can't get past all the levels and layers. Here's, here's, here's a spoon. Spoon, let me feed you with a spoon. But what they don't know is there is no spoon. There's no spoon. And when you know there's no spoon, then you're ready for the layers and layers and levels and levels and layers. And this is just after one initial viewing. I'm going to have to watch it again. And probably a third time. Probably a fourth time. Multiple times. <laughs> Just like 99. It's craziness. And I like to think I'm so smart. So woke. So, you know, so there, right? I'm not. <laughs> so, those are my initial thoughts. I just let my mind go, right? I did barely even talked about the movie. But let me get into talk about the movie real quick. Spoilers, spoilers, spoilers. Just give a general thing what's happening. Which probably everyone knows. So, you know, in the, in the old movies, Neo, Trinity, Morbius, they all woke from the Matrix, right? They all free. And it probably didn't take a genius to figure out, like, hey, guess what? They got plugged back in the Matrix, right? I, I, there's no spoiler there. Probably everyone going to the movie knows that's what's going to happen. 
Yeah, they probably did take a genius. As soon as I saw they were released, and I was like, you know what's probably gonna happen? Neo, Trinity of them, they're plugged back in the Matrix. And spoilers, 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 yeah, they're plugged back in the Matrix. It doesn't take a genius to figure that out. Right? Yeah, right. But now they're in current society. Now they're in this society. The smartphone society. The 24-hour news cycle society. The tweet society. The Facebook society. The Instagram society. Yeah, that society. The society where everyone talks a lot of mess. The society of propaganda. The society of information warfare. The society of psyops. That society. They were always there, but it's worse now. They're in that society. So, yeah, let's wake you up from that. How do you wake up from that society? 99 society? Piece of cake. This society? Mm, I don't know. I was talking with someone recently and I was like, um, you know, I read an article that kids now would prefer a cell phone over a car. Like that was like their, like when they come like 16, we get that cell phone. I want a car. Give me a cell phone. When I was a young person, well, they didn't have cell phones, first of all. But kids wanted cars. That's kind of what they wanted, man. And now not so much. They want that information. They want that feed. They want that matrix. Real quick, before I sign off, the phone is kind of like a matrix. It really is. It has a strong draw. Oh, I did a song called Attack of the Phones. The phones aren't really attacking you. But but the thing with the phone is like, I, I find myself doing this all the time. Just sitting there staring at it, scrolling, right? Scrolling. Just keep looking and scrolling and flicking my flip, right? It's a very powerful uh, device. It just keeps you like like into it. Fixated on it. Just flipping and scrolling and flipping and scrolling, right? I think the phone is the modern day matrix. Like more, more so than the computer, just like that's the matrix right there, right? Can you unplug? Can you free your mind? Can you unplug? And one, one last thing I want to get into real quick that's got nothing to do with the movie at all. But back in the day, I used to think that waking up, freeing, was like going somewhere, right? Like, 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 like exiting the matrix is like getting out of this, like this mundaneness of reality. Like going to another place, right? Going somewhere else, right? Now I still live in quotation start the matrix. I still have a mundane ground all day life. Yes. Right? Yeah, I have that. Mundaneness, just like in the movie where he's getting up every way, going, making food, taking baths, going to work. That mundane cycle, that routine, right? Like I always say I'm a I'm a regular average dude, right? But where the key to waking up from that is where do you where do you take your mind? your mental right you 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 don't have to move your body nowhere else where does your mind go what are you thinking about what are you pondering what are you creating what do you spend your time doing what are you consuming right these things this is how you actually wake up right that's how you do it what do you intake what are you listening to what do you feed your brain and mind right that's it so this is just part one. It's all I want to talk about. My mind's all over the place because I just got done seeing it. And and I just get in here and talk. And that's where the mind went after seeing it the initial time. Now I'm going to watch again this week. And actually probably Sunday's episode will be part two. I'm going to talk about it again. And I might even do a part three or four. It just depends. It depends how far I want to go with this. How much do I see in the film after watching it multiple times. So yeah, that's just this is just part one. So there really no, hopefully I didn't spoil it too much. But like I said in the beginning, I gave you a warning, no spoilers. So I highly recommend, go check out The Matrix Resurrections. Go watch the other three. Just go be in The Matrix. <laughs> and um, yeah, that's all I want to talk about. And until next time, we'll see you. Free your mind. Until next time, it's Captain Peace. The Captain, the Captain Talks, Talks Flicks. Flicks.